Hello everyone, Gilly here. Let's solve problem number 19, counting Sundays in Project Euler. So this problem is a lot of fun. Basically, we are told to loop over all of the days. Well, not, we're not told to loop, but we're told to solve the problem of how many Sundays fell on the first of the month during the 20th century. And they're saying the 20th century went from the 1st of January, 1901 to the 31st of December, 2000. So how many of the days in between that range, inclusive, were Sundays that fell on the first of the month? So originally when I solved this problem in Python, I actually encoded all of the little rules for figuring out how many days are in a month. And, you know, I actually iterated through all the days. Well, since then I've decided to be a little more lazy and I just installed the package time from Haskell, um, from Hackage to actually solve this problem using a nice little library. So we're gonna do that. So import data.time. And we're just gonna encode the couple of days that we care about. So January 1st, 1901 is gonna be a time, or rather a day. And I'm just gonna use the read function to build a new time new day, and that is January 1st, 1901. So to do that, we can just say read 1901, January 1st. And the other value we need is December 31st, 2000. So that's going to be 2000, December would be 12, and then 31st. Okay, so from here solving, it's pretty easy. Let's just go ahead and build one other helper function, which we'll say is first of month. And that's gonna take in a day and return back a bool. Just answering, is it the first of the month? And what we're gonna do is we're going to convert the day to Gregorian, which I think our days are already Gregorian, but this actually gives us a nice little tuple, or a triple rather, where we get the year, the month and then the actual day number. And we basically just want to check does day number equal one to figure out if something's the first of the month. So how many Sundays are the first of the month in that time range? So what we can do is we can actually take a day and these days implement ORD, the ORD interface. So we can actually just build up a, a list of all of the days using dot dot um, to build up that list, which is pretty wonderful. And um, we're just, uh, in our list comprehension here, we're just returning back the day, but we really could return anything. Um, and we've got a loop to December. And then we care about two things. We care that day of week of the day is Sunday. And we also care that is first of the month, the day. So is the day the first of the month? And really, that's all there is to this problem. Pretty straightforward. We're just building up a list of all of the days within the range, checking that the day of the week is Sunday and that the day is the first of the month. So that's kind of the big benefit of using a date library rather than encoding it all yourself. If you use a date library, you can just encode it directly. So here we are running it and we get back to 171, and the correct answer is 171. 